Hi guys, welcome back. This is part 6 of the troll video. I'm going to show you how to make the arms and also how to add thumbs. This is a row by row tutorial so many of you can skip it if you don't need help with that and just refer to the written pattern. If you're only here to see how we attach the thumbs then you'll be skipping to the very end and that's where we add the thumbs. Alright guys, grab your crochet hook and let's get started. Alright, row 1 is a loop with 6 stitches. And remember in part 1 of this video series I went very slowly over this loop so if you need help with that just go back to that part of the video and you can follow along that way and then come on back and we'll carry on alright so we're going to put six single crochets into this ring there's one two three four five and six and now we're going to close up this ring there's our loop with six stitches. Row two is two single crochets in each one of those six stitches and remember we can hide the starting yarn tail into the second row and we can crochet around it or we can just leave it hanging. It's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and put two single crochets into each one of those six stitches there's one, two, and then two single crochets into the next, and then two single crochets into the next. And remember, if you want to close up that center hole, if there's a big gap there, you can pull on that starting yarn tail and close it up. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this. This is my fourth stitch now, so I'm just going to hold it along the edge there and crochet around it. That was two single crochets into the fourth, two single crochets into the fifth, and last one of the row, two single crochets. There I go, I can cut free from that starting yarn tail. And there's the end of row two, and now we have 12 stitches around. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my marker. Remember, there's lots of stitch markers out there. I just choose yarn because it's convenient but this can be pulled out along the way so keep that in mind so row three is one single crochet in the first and then two single crochets into the second and then we're going to repeat that one two one two all the way around when we land on the marker we should be putting in two single crochets I'll do the first set with you and then leave you on your own there was one single crochet in the first and now we'll put two single crochets into the second and remember to always go through two loops of your stitch unless the pattern says otherwise of course so there's my first set now I'm going to continue that sequence and I'll meet you back here when we land on the marker finished row three and now we have 18 stitches around I've moved my marker rows four through eight is one single crochet in each one of those 18 stitches for five rows so remember you can keep a little notepad beside you and mark a little notch every time you move this marker and also remember if you do lose track of your rows you can always count them count behind your marker count the rings and you start with the middle circle that's row one one two and three we're at the end of row three I'll carry on with the pattern I'll meet you back here at the end of row eight we're at the end of row eight and now we're going to decrease the round row nine is one single crochet in the first and then crochet two stitches together and then repeat that sequence all the way around when you land on the marker you should be crocheting two stitches together at the end of row nine and now we have 12 stitches around I've moved my marker row 10 is one single crochet in the next four stitches and then crochet two together and we'll repeat that one more time so we're doing this sequence twice we're only reducing this row by two stitches so there was one and two so we're finished row 10 and now we have 10 stitches around we're going to move our marker rows 11 through 18 is one single crochet in each one of those 10 stitches for eight rows 
So I'll continue on with the pattern. I'll meet you back here at the end of row 18. Remember to move your marker at the end of every row. And you can keep track by using a notepad. At the end of row 18, and I'm going to pull out my last stitch so I don't lose it. And I'm going to stuff the arm. And you can see this is the first one I made. I've only stuffed the arm. I did not stuff the hand. So I'm going to use the back end of a pencil. And we're going to stuff between rows 10 and 16. So pretty much from the wrist to the top of the arm, but not right to the top. So we want to leave a little bit of space there because we're going to be crocheting that edge closed. And I can put a little bit more in there. And don't worry about getting it so precise according to what the pattern says. I just um, give a guideline. You can stuff as much as you want to or as little as you want to. But if you want it to look the way I have the trolls looking in the picture, then that's the way I've done it. But you, of course, have liberty to do how you please. Okay, so there I've stuffed the arm from the wrist up to the top, pretty much the top, right, the, right about there. And now we're going to close up the arm. And this is the same way we did the nose. We're going to crochet through both sides. We want to roll the arm so that the stitch, the last stitch we put in is on the side. Then we're going to squeeze the top of the arm and then we're going to crochet right through both sides. Alright, now we can break free, leave a long yarn tail. We're going to use this yarn tail to sew the arm to the body. Pull the yarn tail through that loop and pull it tight. Okay, time to make some thumbs. I've already got one made here. And it's really easy, I promise. We just want to make sure that you put them on the right side of the hand. That your thumbs are pointing towards each other when you sew the arms on. Okay, so because we have to sew the thumb down into position, so you just want to make sure that you have it figured out before we do that. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that I'm doing that so I know I'm going to be putting the thumb on this side. And we're going to insert our hook in between the eighth and ninth row, and we're going to count from row one. We're just going to count the rings one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So in between there. So we're going to pull yarn through there, through that space we just went through. When you do that, just make sure your starting yarn tail is a little bit on the longer side. So it should look about like this. Because you want to sew that starting yarn tail after we're done. We don't want to have it too short. Okay, and we're going to hang on to that starting yarn tail with one of our fingers so it doesn't pull through. Just until we get started here. Get ready to crochet on. I'm going to switch my fingers. Now I'm going to chain one. So just yarn over and pull through that loop. Now we're going to put five double crochets in that same space we just pulled our yarn through. So yarn over, go through, grab that yarn and pull it through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Now you're left with two loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through the same space, grab your yarn, pull it through. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And now you have four loops. Yarn over, going through that same space, grab your yarn, pull it through. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Now you have five loops. We're going to do this one more time. Yarn over. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Now we have six loops on our hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops. And now we're going to slip stitch down here in the front. It doesn't matter where, just go through where it's easy. 
So just going through, grab some yarn, pull it through. Instead of yarning over, just pull the first loop through the second loop. And there we've slip stitched. Now we can finish off. Pull the yarn tail through that loop. And pull tight. And there's our thumb. Okay, so now I'm just going to knot these two yarn tails off. Probably no need to do that, but let's do it anyway. Knot them off. No harm done. Okay, let's get rid of the shortest yarn tail first. I'm just going to thread our yarn needle. And because we knotted it off, we can just pull it through anywhere now. Just pull it anywhere through a stitch. Pulling it slightly and cut. Alright, so we're just going to take the second yarn tail and do the same thing. Pull on it slightly and cut. Alright guys, we'll end the video here and we'll head into the next one. Depending on which one you want to see next, there should be a few popping up on your screen. But in part 7, we'll be making the feet. I'll see you in the next video.